Hello everybody, my name is Khaled Siddiqui and today I'm going to teach you about uh, something very important. Uh, as you know, all the older uh, TomTom GPS units stopped working as of April 7, 2019. I'm talking about the older ones, not the newer ones. Now, why did these GPS units stop working? I mean, we have very nice looking GPS units, nothing wrong with them, they look good and they're not working anymore as of uh, you know April 7 2019 the reason is after April 7 2019 the Rider 2013 and devices with GL1 chip a uh, GPS chip that is the GL1 GPS chip examples of which are uh, TomTom 1 third generation this guy TomTom 1 third generation aren't able to display the current time anymore and lose some functions because of this. Navigation functions, routing functions, and the time, as soon as the GPS signal is uh, reached full, full bar, the time goes to 12 noon. I'm sorry, 12 midnight. So the, this patch that I, the, the, this patch that I'm about to introduce you to is a fix that was created by a computer programming genius and I don't want to take get the credit from him uh, Tresis T-R-E-Y-S-I-S and this genius wrote this software which has been working fine for me and uh, uh, this uh, so anyways so the, the reason for this is that GPS weak number rollover uh, event which is weak number rollover event which is which is abbreviated by WNRO which happens every 19.7 years to TT CONV takes care of this uh, the, the file that's written it will take care of the weak rollover okay so every 19.7 years you have to use a different patch now this may be something not so important for the U.S. customers because you can get a new Garmin or TomTom -Tom GPS for under $100. But these GPS units in other countries will cost as much as someone's salary, as much as monthly salary someone makes. So it's, it makes a big difference for them to give these another life. Besides, even in America, why would you throw away something that works perfectly fine just because of a software bug? So this is a genius solution by this person and I would like to share it with you guys and uh, you know uh, so that we could save some electronics from going to landfill you know for no reason and create more e-waste electronic waste. So this is to prevent from throwing them away and fixing them uh, with with the software. Okay, so here is how it works. Okay? You plug in your TomTom to your computer when you plug it into your computer, this is what you get. Basically, this is the, let me go to computer, hold on a second. This is your computer, like this is my computer, and this is my TomTom. -tom. So I double click, this is what I have. So what, all you have to do is copy uh, all of this these files, except for the developer info, that one I'm gonna put separate. Let me put that separate. Is you have to copy everything, and root in the root directory of this unit. So I'm gonna remove the developer info and drag everything, everything that I have there. And the root directory, root. Don't put it inside any folder. Root directory, okay? So let it go and copy. You, uh, whenever it says you would like to uh, merge these files, say yes, because you already have a bin file, you want to merge it. And you have to say yes. What does it say? Copy and replace. This is the one we want. Okay. So everything copied. Now this GPS unit should work flawlessly. This guy should work flawlessly because those files went in it and it should not reset to 12 noon okay so this is something that remains to be seen after I uh, boot it up completely and I will go to uh, outdoor and show you the clock so 
what I do so let me unplug this okay so it's booting up it's booting up it's powering up let's see let it power up so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna take another one without the software we're gonna go okay this one same one same unit without the software we'll go outside and you will see the difference okay you see that 12 a.m. there if I fix this this clock let me fix the clock hold on okay so what is it right now 8 38 p.m. Well, I have to go this way because it's 8 Oh, this uh, even the, the screen is off a little bit the calibration 838 done done okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to load this one power it up okay so now we will go with a battery pack because these these GPS units were sitting and uh, storage they don't have any charge so I'm gonna use a battery pack to go outside and under a clear sky and show you how one will reset to 12 noon the other one with the software patch will not reset to 12 noon okay so now I have both units notice one has the clock fix software in it the other one doesn't so as you can see the one at the bottom has the clock fix the one at the top it doesn't as soon as the signals of the GP of the satellite hits it let me go outside and there the clear sky notice the one with the clock fix already reached satellites and it already reached the satellite signal because it has the clock fix and it can see this is the satellite reception so I'm gonna clear this watch it's gonna jump to 12 o'clock now pay attention to the GPS on the right look at the clock on the one on the right and see how it jumps to 12 midnight there it is do you see that the one on the right did not have the fixed patch software the one on the left did and the one on the left survived the clock error and it will function normally but the one on the right will not work properly and give you wrong navigation it will lose satellite signals okay so as you can see this guy reset to 12 this guy is going with no problem there you go no problem reset to 12 noon without the patch so this patch is a winner okay so based on this patch that we saw here you can download the patch I'll leave you the link down below and you can get your old beat up expired GPS's back on your feet and give it another life thank you okay so see this was a very important lesson and a very important fix for the most common problem or I should say the biggest problem with the TomTom -tom GPS units thank you very much Make sure to like and subscribe.